Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So a couple of uh, special features that I wanted to show you that's uh, in Oppo phone. So if you are using Oppo phone, you have the latest color OS version, which is 13, I guess. So you'll have this setting. So which is really nice that Oppo has provided so much of customizability that you can uh, utilize it to the fullest. So that's what uh, we'll be looking in this video. I've made plenty of other videos as well related to privacy and all. So make sure you check my channel and other videos. And even if you are new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe button and do like and share this video. It helps support my my channel all right so the first thing is to go to settings obviously settings of your phone and here you'll find special features just tap on this one and a couple of things here one is the smart sidebar which i really love so you can easily access quick apps so wherever you are on screen whatever you are doing you can quickly just swipe left like this and you are greeted with this sidebar so how you can edit just tap on edit this one and whatever apps you use frequently you can add it to the list here so you can delete the unwanted ones and you can add the useful ones so quickly you can even tap on this quick note so if you want to take quick note you can rearrange it as well the icons so based on your priority so whenever you open the sidebar just tap on quick note instantly you're greeted with the note you can type notes you can search with the chrome browser you can open it and that's how easy you can customize and the, the cool thing is it's in side floating window right so you can use this floating window and move that aside for again quick access so you can just bring it like this and it will be open so that's the coolest part about using the smart sidebar which has been well thought i think so and there's this calculator here so what do you guys think of this feature let me know in the comment section down below are you liking it or not i think it's really cool and you can even resize the window mini standard and make it full as well so that's the really cool thing about using the sidebar so you can auto hide the sidebar so it won't affect the screen and you can also show app names you can disable or enable smart functions so let that be on so that's the smart sidebar here bring it on like this and use the apps that you want to use the screen recording just tap on this one tap on record and it instantly starts to record the screen so that's how quickly you can access from wherever you are on the screen okay that's the smart sidebar the second one is flexible windows yeah this is really cool here as well you can add these three settings here you can turn this on based on how you use frequently but then i'm just demonstrating you let's say i'm i want to use the chrome browser and i take it back okay and i'm using something else i'm messaging here so what i can do is just go to the recent screen here and if i go to the chrome here tap on three dots and tap on floating window what you can do is you can bring this window so it's floating basically as you can see then i'll resize it to my liking let's say standard mode so i want to do some search i'll do some search and tap on search here so i want this as uh, uh, like a reference so i'll just take this one and move it aside wherever you want on the screen you can move it aside so i'll do my task here and whenever i want that reference i'll just bring that here and it's turned on so that's how you can use this to the fullest so that's the beauty of uh, this floating window so you can resize this one or you can bring it to the full screen so that's the cool thing yeah did you like this one so that's the setting you will find it here so that's two special features that i wanted to show you so if you're not using start using it there is also split screen here which has been for ages again so swipe up with three fingers to enter to the split screen let's say you want to swipe up like this this is settings so it won't take you up there let's say we are using chrome and if i just swipe up with three fingers so it's asking me to open another window let's say messages so you have the split screen here i can start messaging while i scroll through this one so that's the beauty of using the split screen all for the convenience you can resize the window swap the window or bring it to the floating window again plenty of customization available here without any hiccup you can utilize it so that's it in this video hopefully this was helpful to you if you didn't know about it start using it now hopefully you liked this one hit that like button do share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for supporting this one all right guys that's it in this video i'll see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye